when model complications develop, uh, uh, typically people with Parkinson are on uh, three doses of levodopa a day. And uh, if you are skilled enough and you start asking, how do you feel in the afternoon? Do you feel re-emergence of your symptoms? Then you make a diagnosis of wearing off. Now at that point, uh, you know, the, you really face uh, two approaches. You can either increase the number of levodopa administrations uh, to four or five or more, or you could think instead of increasing the number of levodopa doses, I could use adjunctive medications uh, which would extend the effect of the existing levodopa tablets. Now, we did a survey uh, uh, in the last couple of years uh, with both general neurologists uh, uh, and uh, with uh, movement disorder specialists asking, what is uh, your approach if your patient is on levodopa three times a day and starts developing uh, uh, wearing off? Well, 70% of the movement disorder experts and 80% of the general neurologists said, well, I would increase the number of uh, levodopa intakes. But we know that increasing the number of levodopa intakes is associated with poor uh, adherence and it becomes uh, uh, a bit of uh, an assance for many patients uh, who have to remember very complex uh, treatment uh, uh, algorithms during the day. So our approach uh, uh, we proposed is uh, instead of increasing, uh, keep increasing the number of levodopa doses, why don't you consider uh, using drugs um, that can extend the effect of the existing levodopa? And for instance, uh, uh, the CNT inhibitor on, uh, opicapone satisfy this criteria because it, it is taken only once a day and it provides an extension uh, in the efficacy of individual levodopa doses. So really, these two choices, uh, I think, uh, are uh, present, uh, uh, the easiest one maybe is to increase the doses for the doctor, but it's not the best one for the patient.